few days ago, we were making a video talking about the invisible borders of Northern Ireland and Ireland, as well as a difference between good and bad. And my wife suggested that we go over a property gate because a video nearby of that lake would be spectacular and would also avoid the backlight of the sun. She had previously suggested that we ask for permission, but after filming, just when I finished my words, she pressured me a bit, saying that it was very easy to pass and that no one was going to tell us anything. I thought how spectacular the video would be with those shots, and she really made me think about it but I was adamant that we would not trespass on that private property without authorization. Just a few seconds later, a man who we did not believe was the owner of that piece of land passed by, who showed us which was his house and even several other pieces of land that also belonged to him. It would have been a terrible testimony if we jumped the gate to enter his land, he really is a cheap herder who also tends all kinds of cattle, which he owns, as well as having property and land. In the conversation, when he found out that we had never touched a sheep, he made a very nice gesture of going for them so that we could touch them. We did skip the entrance gate to that land. This was already another of his lands and he was surprised that we were going with him because we were possibly going to get our feet wet. We continued, and seeing the sheep respond to the shepherd's call, run towards him and gather around him, awakens a tenderness and something very beautiful in such tender and defenseless animals. The following week, he showed us another part of his cattle with his calls and even my wife fed them. You know, biblically, it is not a small thing to force your way in as a thief or robber would do, unlike the shepherd of the sheep who enters through the door. Jesus explained it to some Pharisees who had just thrown out of the congregation a blind man that Christ had just healed. They threw him out for recognizing Jesus and so that they would understand that the thief and robber does not enter through the door, he told them, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved, and will go in and out and find pasture. Christ is the gate of the fault of God. Through that gate, all his children throughout history found access, each symbol, each revelation of the scriptures and each divine miracle allows us to contemplate the lamp of God who takes away the sin of the world. He introduces us into his fault. Sadly, the world has presented countless objects of faith and means invented by men that claim to find peace and justification with God. But the only door is Christ. Throughout history, philosophers and teachers have put forward theories to meet our need. Paganism and religious systems of countless nations have offered other means of redemption, different from Christ. These tend to deprive God of human beings that he created and redeemed. False religions in the slavery of fear, indifference, excessive work and without hope, joy or aspirations, dominated by fear of the future. But contemplating the love of God manifested in His Son moves our hearts and awakens our faculties like nothing else can. Christ creates, again in man, the image of God. If someone takes men away from Christ, he takes them away from the source of true development. He robs them of the hope, the purpose and the glory of life. He is a thief and a robber.